Um, we've got Samantha um, on air now. Now, this is, this is a, 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 an interesting one. Sam, are you on the line? Hello. Hi, Hi. Samantha. Thanks for calling in. Uh, your nine-year-old daughter uh, is a heart and stroke survivor, and she often uses a micro-scooter um, uh, instead of a special buggy. Is that right? Yes. Um, she suffers from epilepsy, too, and the micro-scooter has just made a huge difference to her life and made an independence. But you've been told um, that that poses uh, a health and safety risk when you go into certain, say, establishments or centres. Yeah, shop stays out at least once a month. We're approached and asked to get take it off a scooter. And what do you do when that happens, Samantha? I ask to speak to the management, um, and every time I speak to the management and explain that she uses the scooter as a mobility aid. Um, I've got in touch recently with a Welsh Assembly member. He's fighting um, a, a case. And we're just, we're just seeing a picture of your daughter's scooter here, yeah. which does have the sign yeah. on it that says it's being used as a mobility scooter. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a well, tricky it's a, one. We, we use that because she can steer it one-handed. Because of her stroke, she has no use of her right side. Yeah. And okay. the, so she leans to the left or right to steer the scooter. It's absolutely wonderful. Her, mobility, her special needs buggy is fantastic. It's, yeah. it's, if she uses that instead of the wheelchair because she can lie down and have a sleep when she gets but it's tired. Pe it's people's but attitude to it that you're upset this, about. What, this happens yeah, a lot, yeah. that people think that if you don't look a certain way or act a certain way, that they have the right to tell you that you can't do something. Mm. That this scooter works for this disabled mm. child to allow them to go out and integrate into society. Mm. And the law says you cannot stop them coming in. So basically, you don't have a leg to stand on. And the whole, like, we're back to the health and safety thing. Ooh, it's health and safety. Mm. Sorry, if you haven't actually designed your premises to be able to accept, accept mm. disabled people and their whatever kind of mobility equipment they use, then you are breaking the law well, some of those breaking stores, health and safety. Yeah, well, some of those stores possibly say, well, we can't have, you know, we can't have kids running around on these scooters stores in or scooters or restaurants, well, Yes, you know. absolutely, but the thing is, is that there is an excuse for this child to use it. And well, not even an excuse, a valid yeah. reason, Exactly, exactly. Well, that's, you know, yeah. there is a valid excuse yeah. and reason, and, yeah. and that's the point, is that you... You, I mean, I remember when I was a kid, I used to use different things to get around mm. because I didn't always want to use my wheelchair. Um, and... To be honest, no one ever said anything to me. So mm. it's definitely a change in the way society is. But absolutely, you are absolutely right. You can use a scooter if it's what your child needs. So, she so she's well doing right. Yeah, to yeah. So Samantha's yeah. right to challenge yeah, the to challenge it, absolutely. OK, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much, Samantha. It's not a recognised mobility aid. It's not a recognised mobility aid, so they, they say it's not recognised. Yeah, that's your problem. Well, I think, as Mick said, Sam, um, you know, yeah, you, it's, it is, it is, you know, you're well within your legal rights to do what you're yeah, doing. You're, and you're, you know, you can, it, they are, they have the right to question you to make sure, but you have the right to say, no, 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 that's what she uses to get around. Because it would be like saying, well, if you use a walking stick, what happens if you use a flash walking stick with a silver cane? You know, yeah, it's still it's a walking stick. Stuff it's that kind of thing, isn't it? Is that she's found what works for her, and that disables her less. So therefore, that's what she should be allowed to use. Well, yeah. Sam, we hope um, that that advice is something to go by. Just keep doing what you're doing, and we send all your daughter uh, all our love. Uh, Mick, thank you so much. Yeah, for yeah and we're, today. We're, we're so sorry to hear there is still discrimination it's still out there. Bad. I mean, how many <laughs> years have we talked <laughs> about it? I know, I know. And it's getting better a bit, a bit. Okay. We're getting there. <clears throat> we're, getting... we're getting there. Thank you, Mick. Well, uh... hopefully, things like this. Things like this. Yeah. Thank Raising you for awareness. your calls.